outro cast. Hi, Marta. How's your day going besides doing press? Oh, so good. We just did the premiere last night for It's a Wonderful Binge. So I'm like still like living off the high of that. Like how crazy you walk into a movie theater and your face is there. What? Well, you're part of a franchise too. Did you have any idea that there would be a sequel when you made the first one? No, the first one was my first acting credit. <laughs> if right. I knew my first acting credit was going to turn into a franchise, I'd I'd tell someone you're lying. That's not how it works. That's that's so crazy. I'm so oh, I'm so lucky and grateful to be here. Thank you also for having me on the on the show. Like how I love it. Cool. Nice to meet my, you. My pleasure and likewise. And how much of Kimmy is there in the real you? Oh, definitely. Especially in the second one, for sure. The first one was me when I was like way too cool for everything. And like, you know, but like now I'm like nervous about everything. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, you know? And so I think Kimmy kind of portrays that too, where she's like trying her best to think she's knowing what she's doing, but she's actually really still figuring it out like everyone else. And you know, trying to grow up as long, and, and you're growing up your whole life. And I think also the other characters kind of show that too. Even like mm-hmm. Caitlin Olson, who plays my mom, she still needed to learn some lessons in the movie. And so did Nick Swartzen, who plays my uncle, mm-hmm. and Dex and Eduardo's characters and everyone. You know, it's like we don't really know what we're doing. We're just <laughs> trying our best, <laughs> but we got to learn to do. I think you're selling yourself a little short. Obviously you had a lot of success with social media and modeling before this first acting job. So not your first time in front of a camera, but did you always want to act? Um, You know, when I was younger, yeah. Like when I was, I was telling someone else, I was like, Pirates of the Caribbean was like my favorite movie growing up. And like, whatever character I saw at a movie theater, I became that character in my life. So I did fencing for nine years because I kind of believed I was Captain Jack Sparrow for half my life. And then I remember when Percy Jackson came out, I all of a sudden was in the shower and like water dripped funny down my arm. And I was like, is this the beginning? Is Poseidon my father? (laughs) Had to badger my mom a bit about it. I was like, are you sure? The shower water is acting kind of funny with my skin. But yeah, so like it was always there, but I... I never felt like I I could do it or mm-hmm. I should do it. You know, growing up in the Midwest too, there isn't like, also my parents are are immigrants and foreign. So there was, there's never really a whole lot of, oh yeah, go into the arts kid, you know, right. from, from that standpoint. So it was like never something I really saw myself doing. And then I got lucky enough to model and then lucky enough that somehow social media was like, oh, you're cool. Let's boost you up there and then I, I although I will say like just because you know like on social media I have like a bit of followers and in, in mm-hmm. model I don't think that translates that you're automatically like a good actor like I still have a lot of work to do and there's a lot of people ahead of me and and I have so much to learn so like I feel like that doesn't you know I, I'm getting there but I think thankfully to these both of these binge movies, I've been able to have like the best acting lessons and inspirations and yeah. legends like coach me through it. So does that answer your question? It answers my question in a wonderful way and it leads me to a few different thoughts. And that's the first is it's interesting that you mean different things to different people because some people on social media just like you for you, some people like the Marta the Martian persona, nickname, brand, and all that. And then there's you, the actress. So it seems like a lot of work to have to go between all these different modes as Marta, the entertainer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I sometimes I feel like I'm, do you remember the movie Split? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Sometimes I feel like I'm like, I'm like six different people. I also like do photography on the side too. Like, so I'm like, just different hats. It's, I like to write too. Hopefully that takes okay. off. And I recently started music. I'm gonna have a first, like my first single drop. Really? Yeah, probably within the next week or so. So it's like I'm very excited how how much like social media has helped 
me enter all these things that I never thought was possible. I was honestly uh, studying to be a doctor. And then when I realized how much medical school was in America, I switched yeah. that to nurse real quick. Yeah, and, you'd that be was a student and in- even that's expensive. And I was like, how do we, these professions, these good people have to pay. So, I mean, and I, I mean, not going to start that conversation, but it was, that's what I was, that was my route. I was like, you know, I'll just go and help people and do that. And I don't know. I still hope, I still hope I can do that, but just in a different way. So I'm gathering, programs, do that. I'm gathering the parents are very proud that they have a child who's made it on their own terms without asking them for help. I mean, yeah, they, like I, like I said, they're not from here, you know, and I very much grew up like with a household that's divided between me being raised half in America, half in Poland in the, in the summers. Mm -hmm. Um, And then having these two worlds that you kind of have to balance out as a child. And like, my parents were very, very scared. And like, even to this day, my mom has like thoughts of like, Marta, like it might not work out. Like you, should probably, you know, have backup plans and like, you know, all this stuff. And of course I do, but like, you know, they're still very, very nervous and very scared. And I don't know how proud they are of a drug Christmas movie, (laughs) but you know, they're, they're very proud that I'm able to go and work with such amazing people and that these people want me. Like I'm in, Hulu was like, yeah, her, let's, let's make her Kimmy. I mean, Hulu has to approve you as an actor to, to be, a, you're representing them. So it's like the fact that Hulu, I've been watching Hulu forever, like yeah. was like, yeah, her. And it's crazy. So they are definitely proud in, in certain ways. And then other ways they're like nervous as shit. Wait, can I swear? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, they're nervous as shit sometimes. And yeah. So yeah. Down to the last two questions before I let you go. Um, did the idea of a third movie ever get floated around or are you the last to know these things? I mean, I would be the last to know these things, but between me and the lovely cast and I hope some of the crew, we all hope there would be a third. I enjoy working with these people so much that I will work on a binge 420 <laughs> binge. 94 binge 100 i will be universe until i am dead now you just came up with something great there the binge 420 that instead of the binge four it should be the binge 4.20 or the so how we might have to pay you for this hulu <laughs> so be sure to text that one to jeremy when that yeah uh, i honestly i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and guess what i just came up with by myself <laughs> And then the last question I have for you is, as you mentioned yourself, beyond the job titles I knew about, you have a single coming out and you're a photographer. How do you like to describe what it is you do and who you are? Do you have an easy way of naming what your career is? Yes. I would say it is an ADD kid with an insane imagination (laughs) and way too much energy. And just trying her best to just be happy in a world that's kind of sad a lot of the time, you know, that's it. That's that. That's what I'd say. A kid that's never got her ADD under control. (laughs) Well, kudos to you on that. And congratulations on this movie. Looking forward to that single and whatever is coming next from you, Marta. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me on this show and for giving me the time. Thank you. Outrocast.